endomyocardial biopsy procedure the tips and tricks of uh, doing endomyocardial biopsy see here uh, you can just focus on the groin so i have done taken a right groin access with a 8 uh, french uh, femoral sheath because our mullein sheath will be around 6 french so i have taken a 8 french uh, femoral sheath so i'm now uh, going to uh, go to the ra so now i'll be using a multipurpose catheter this is a 5 french multipurpose catheter yeah come on uh, this is you can just with the gas Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm just taking a very French multiple catheter. Show the fluid over there. Let's focus on the fluid. Okay, so we have reached our area. So we usually do a pressure measurement also. So we measure the right heart cath also before doing a biopsy. This is a tra- post transplant patient. So we would like to know what are the pressures. The transplant. He has undergone heart transplant. He is almost uh, 10 days post transplant. So this is a uh, show the pressure area pressure. Our catheter is in the RA. You can see this. Our catheter is in the multipurpose is in the RA. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we can see the RA mean for this patient. The RA mean is around 20 to 21. RA mean is around that. Okay, fine. So I mentioned the RA. Now just show the the uh, focus on the fluoro. I'm just going to enter into RB. Okay, so now I'm going into RV. Sorry, I'm just trying to go in RV. I'm going to go. Yeah, so we are in the RV, right? Yeah, we are seeing it. Two picks and no, I'm in the RV. Me the way. Yeah, I'm in the RV now. Yeah. Yeah. So this vision now we are in the RV. This is the the same way initially we used for taking the uh, multipurpose into the RA. So this is the O35 inch J tipped thermo uh, hydrophilic wire, 150 centimeter. So I'm trying to. Okay, and then so I'll just go to PA, measure the pressure, and then exchange with the super stiffer. So I will go on into PA. You see. So I went into PA. My wire is in the left pulmonary artery. So I'm just going to measure the PA pressure. So I'm just pressing the catheter. Yeah, show the PA pressure. So, so it's better to have a cath measurement before going for a biopsy, and especially for post transplant patients. Yeah. So the, this is the PA pressure. The PA here for this patient is still like 38. Or a dash here, sixteen and mean twenty-six. Okay, fine. So we have measured PA pressure. Now we are okay. So pressure is not very elevated. Elevated. Okay. So now we are going to use uh, uh, Ampla super stiff uh, mouth. This is the ultra stiff wire. Ampla ultra stiff exchange length wire. So O three four inch. Because we have to track the mullein sheet over this. So mullein sheet will not track over our usual thermo wire. So we need a stiffer wire. In this case, we are using ultra stiff. Any stiff wire should be fine. So you can show the fluoro. So you can just once show here. Mm, yeah, show the fluoro there. Yeah. So I have reached PA. So I'm just removing this um, um, multipurpose catheter. And then in this is the usual exchange. What we do. So I'm just wiping. Um, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Put the mullein sheet this. Yeah, keep it straight. Fix it. So I'm just taking the mullein sheet. So it's a eight front sheet here, femoral sheet. So this will easily go inside the negative sheet. It'll be easily negotiating into it. Yeah. So now I'm show there. I'm just reaching there. There's a introducer inside that. Come to RAO. Once I'm just going into close to RAO PA, then I just slowly. So no need to go into PA. We already measured the pressure in PA. So we need only R. R. We need to enter RV. Okay. So I just remove the wires. Okay, so now I'm going to de-add it. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So we are in the RV. Yeah. So you can see the the fluoro. So 
to suppose the transplant patient who is going to take a RV stratomegaly biopsy. So our ambulance sheet is in the RV. There is an array view which is showing that it's close to the uh, apex somewhere in the RV. And so we'll be taking the sample from the RV septum, RV side of the septum, and that also in the apical septum. So we can show this uh, biopsy forceps. So this is our uh, wait, let me take this. So this is a biopsy forceps. It's a, so actually, uh, this is a, this easily goes. It's very flexible. At the same time, it's stiffer. <coughs> Okay, so now you can see that uh, I have entered uh, RV. So in the um, RV view, we are close to the RV apex. Then just go to the LV view. So I'm just going into LV view. Yeah. So uh, we can see that again we are close to the septum. So that means we are in the RV, and then we are in the uh, close to the uh, apic. Uh, we are in the RV apex and close to the septum. So we are close to the RV apical septum. So come back. So I'm just trying to grab the tissue. See, I've grabbed the tissue, and then I'm just taking it out. Yeah. So we're taking it out. Okay. We'll just see how much tissue we got. Uh, yeah. So you can see here. This is a YSC uh, sample is here. Yeah. So it's slightly pale. Gross it is appearing pale. Okay. We'll go for one more tissue. Show that. So I need to. Avoid uh, the perforation complications which can rarely happen. So whenever we enter outside the milling sheet, we enter with the forceps open. So that's so it will not go and then pierce it. It's not like we go there and then open. Okay, so I have taken this. We will just go to LA one and then confirm once. Yeah. So we are there. So we are the uh, LA close to the septum. Come back. Come. Yeah, come back. Come back. So in the area of view, we are on the RV side. So I'm just, I already grabbed the tissue, so I'm just putting it out. So when I just take it out, I'll get a giveaway feed. Yeah, so you can see this. There are two tissue samples we have taken adequately. And then we we'll just, yeah, you can see here. There are two tissues. Two tissues.